Welcome uh, again to uh, worship, traditional worship this week. Uh, it's uh, lovely to uh, bring this to you again today. We just want to bring you the call of worship, which comes from Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. And it's a good time to remember that the Lord is Lord of all. Here, whatever happens in the world today, uh, tomorrow, and yesterday, uh, he is in control. We want to begin the service uh, then with uh, the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. come to you now with our worship and in praise. And we want to thank you, Lord, for the good things you've blessed us with this past week, the things we can look forward to in the week to come. Lord, we bring to you our offerings of praise and worship, uh, anything we can give, whether it's finances or time, uh, helping one another. Lord, let them be worthy of um, your kingdom to be able to grow it and build it and let others know about you. Lord, we want to continue to pray for this nation. We thank you for where we see your hand and your mercy on this nation with um, less, uh, less people uh, getting the virus. But also we also recognize uh, individuals who are hurting and grieving for lost of loved ones too. And Lord, we pray for individuals who have been affected uh, over the last few weeks through sickness, through loss, through loss of work, loss of some of the events and things that they might do. Maybe some of those things that they do for you, Lord. And we pray that as we um, stay together in, in our, our families and our houses and homes, we may find new ways of glorifying your name. Lord, I pray uh, for uh, those around us that the Easter story, what we've celebrated just a week ago, is not forgotten 
too readily. That it stirs the hearts of a nation to remember the greatest story in history. Lord, that uh, we remember your great sacrifice and that we continue reading your word. Lord, give us time this week to pray to you and to listen to you. Give us time this week to see how we may serve you, whether it's an act, whether it's even in our thoughts. And Lord, let us show love for one another and all that we might do, um, even though we might not be together under one roof. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, we're going to sing two choruses next, uh, just one after the other. Uh, Jesus, take me as I am, and turn your eyes upon Jesus. Uh, and uh, a few nights ago, I was uh, singing Jesus, take me as I am, the chorus to one of my children, just at, in the evening. And the next hour, I was, I was just playing again, because it was still in my mind. And, and Louise mentioned to me about how, at a point in her life, when she was at a, a, a Christian camp, and she was making a decision to um, put her life um, and give it to to Jesus that uh, this was one of the choruses or a key chorus that she had at the time, Jesus take me as I am. And that was just uh, exciting to hear that little story to go with the music that we've been playing. Uh, and I want to encourage you that if you're a, a member of uh, St Andrew's Church or if you've been tuning in and listening and watching to these and can contact either uh, me through uh, the email or through the um, church, if you've got a hymn or a song, a chorus which is really dear to you uh, and you wouldn't mind uh, listening to and we could play it. We might have to have a, a few weeks of practice maybe if it's a new one for us but we'd love to play some uh, songs which are meaningful to people out there and uh, maybe just with a little bit of a story about why they're so important to you. Uh, but it, now I hope you can join us as we uh, sing the two choruses Jesus Take Me As I Am and Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus.
that this week you've, it's been a bit quiet for you, um, take time to look through the church phone book and, and give someone a ring, someone you might see often at church and just to say hi to, but maybe not get to talk too much. And so take that time to contact one another, see how each other are going, and I hope to um, hear from some of you too. We're going to uh, conclude the uh, worship service with uh, the song, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Uh, whether, whatever we face each day, we know we can um, turn to Jesus, trust in Him, uh, for He is constant, He never changes. find this week a chance to find times in your life when you can trust in Jesus even more and thank him for the good works he does in your life and the blessings he gives to you, your family and your friends and your neighborhood. Amen. Amen.